Perfect. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nicola from Harper Adams University in Newport, Shropshire, so just down the road from yourselves. Um, traditionally, the university um, started in 1901 with just six students as an agricultural college, um, but now we actually have around 3,000 students on site studying a range of courses, not just agriculture. So as you can see, um, the list um, is very wide, but it's still quite niche in that it's anything to do with, you know, the land and the production of food for the supply chain. They're all four years with a third year out on placement, and that can be done um, abroad or in this country. Um, veterinary medicine is actually five years. Um, with rotations out in year five. So as I said, placement year doesn't have to be in this country, it can be abroad. Um, and from the placement year, we, our graduate employment rate is 98.8%. And that is from the placement year, because where you are placed on placement, quite often that is where you get offered a job at the end of it. So it's almost like a year long interview. Um, during this year, you're able to put your theory from your lectures into practice um, out on that placement year. You do um, earn money during that year and you can obviously put that experience um, on your CV and it's just great networking as well in the industry that you want to work in. But this evening we're going to look at the engineering side at Harper. Um, so the world does need more engineers as employers are always saying to us that actually most graduates, you know, can lack experience, leaderships and skills and technical expertise. But at Harper, we make sure you're, you're ready from the first day on your job. And that's because, again, going back to that placement year to make sure that you are you know, ready for the job market. And we make sure that the curriculum fits in with what the industry needs. And every five years, our courses go under review to make sure that they are still appropriate for what the industry needs. At Harper, we've got three engineering degrees, um, agricultural engineering, mechanical engineering and automotive engineering. Um, all our degrees um, are available as a B.Eng, which is Bachelor's of Engineering, which is, which is four years of placement year out in year three. And the points are generally about 96 UCAS points. And, but if you're doing maths A level, and you can get more than 96 UCAS points, then you can do the Masters of Engineering, which is actually five years. The placement year is still in year four, but the fifth year is, um, sorry, the placement year is still in year three, um, but the fifth year is um, your postgraduate qualification. Um, but if you don't have enough UCAS points or BTECs um, to get you on um, the MN straight away, um, Depending how well you do in your first year on the B.Eng course, there is chance to kind of upgrade the degree and switch over to M.Eng um, if you'd like to do so. And um, so with agricultural engineering, um, this course has a mechanical engineering core with a specialism in the design and development of agricultural machinery and systems. This course covers everything from the principles of design, of agricultural machinery, soil implementation, interaction and irrigation and drainage through an advanced technologies in the field of precision farming, agricultural, robotics and renewable energy. And the sorts of um, places our, place, our students go out on placement is uh, such as like John Deere, CNH, Great Plains, Class, and then careers are in design and development, new product testing, manufacturing and equipment production, and managerial and leadership roles. Um, the other engineering degree is mechanical engineering. Again, you've got the option of doing B.Eng or M.Eng, um, depending on your UCAS or your BTEC points. Um, this degree course um, focuses producing um, high calibre engineering graduates who are experienced in the application of core mechanical engineering theory and practice to deliver and solve um, industry problems. In addition to the principles of designing machinery and advanced stimulation and modelling techniques. 
students will gain knowledge of industry manufacturing and process. Um, the placement years um, are with, with companies such as Bayer Systems, JCB, Nifty Lift or Cummins Engines um, with careers in obviously mechanical engineering, um, in design and development, new product testing, manufacturing as well. The last um, engineering degree is automotive engineering. Again, you've got the options of B-Eng or M-Eng routes. Uh, this degree course has a um, mechanical engineering core within specialism in the design and development of vehicles that operate off road. The course covers everything from principles of suspension design, vehicle mobility and properties of highway terrains to the electronic control of vehicles and ride and handling optimization. You will cover not just the theory and the technical skills, but also the research and business techniques needed by the engineers. And placement, um, again, is with companies such as um, Jaguar Land Rover, JCB, Caterpillar, and um, careers. You can work for Land Rover Jaguar, JCB, Bentley, Caterpillar, you know, or even actually go into the army in designing their vehicles. It's also worth noting that with the placement year, we do help you find your placement by offering the chance for industry to come onto site or during the pandemic online where you can uh, meet the industries that offer an undergraduate placement year, able to network with them to find out what sort of job role they're advertising, because some job roles are very niche, some are very open and allow you to kind of move around in the company, um, giving you a mixed experience. It'll tell you also where they're located, how to apply for the job, um, maybe any additional work experience or extra qualifications that they may put you through during that year. Um, and then they'll upload all those jobs onto our portal for you to spend some time um, working your way through them all to seeing which ones you want to apply to. You will be given a course manager, uh, sorry, placement manager alongside your course manager to help you um, write your CV, covering letter, practice, telephone interviews, face-to-face -face interviews, um, because obviously every company does have their own procedure in recruiting placement students. Some are more competitive than others, and obviously you will be um, going up against your own peer group um, for the placement as well as um, against other universities. The university itself is a single site campus. We do have a commercial farm on site um, as well as all the accommodation ranging from catered, self-catered, en suites facilities, shared bathroom, um, en suites etc depending on your price point but it's all um, a walkable campus and there is free parking on site and there's great facilities at Harper we've got state-of-the-art laboratories um, innovative lecture theatres and teaching spaces we also have an off-road track dedicated um, alongside an engineering workshop where you can actually you know play around with the machinery and when it comes to designing buggies um, in group assignments, you can take them onto the off-road track or even into um, our soil hall, which I can only describe to you is literally a field within a sports hall where there's no live matter in the soil, um, but there is irrigation alongside it. So you can flood um, the kind of the building um, to change the composition of the soil, depending what terrain your buggy or implements that you're using maybe behind a tractor um, need, need to be on. And um, so you can kind of like play around with that. Uh, we also have um, an entomology building, which is a study of insects, um, the Royal Food Academy, um, a, a big on-site library, which is actually the picture you can see on the screen. Uh, plenty of sports facilities as well. Uh, as I said, we do have a, a farm on site. Um, so even though you may be looking um, into engineering, if you are from a farming background or maybe want to have a go at milking or 
shearing to lambing. Um, you can do so on a Wednesday. We call them rural workshops. Otherwise, Wednesday afternoon is dedicated for clubs and societies where the SU um, arranges fancy dress parties, film nights, sports, music, comedy, day trips, food events um, throughout, throughout the week. Um, they also arrange four balls throughout the year, Freshers Ball, Christmas Ball, Paddy's Ball and the Big Summer's Ball at the end of the year. Um, to find more information about the sorts of clubs and societies that are available at Harper, please do go on YouTube and type in This Is Our Harper. It's just a two minute video um, that has been made by the SU um, for you to, to have a look at. I would play it, but unfortunately there is a bit of a lag time when I play it over Zoom. The university over the recent years have won uh, many awards that we're all very um, proud of, um, starting with number one for job prospects by What Uni 2020. We're also the top 20 university by The Times. Um, we've got TEF Gold Teaching Excellence. We're also the best modern university for a fourth year in a row. We're the runner up by the UK University of the Year by The Times. And like I said earlier, our graduate employment rate is 98.8%. To find more information about Harper Adams and our courses in more detail, please do visit our open day tomorrow. It's a virtual open day from 10 till 2 tomorrow uh, by registering on our website. And you'll be able to virtually meet the course managers, um, kind of attend course talks and ask the academics any questions that you do have about the courses, as well as doing virtual kind of walking tours of the campus. And also you can ask support staff any queries you may have regarding, you know, um, applying or if you've got a mixture of A-levels and B-techs and um, what your entry requirements will be, any learning support you may have. Um, so please do um, sign up to our virtual open day tomorrow. Otherwise, I wish you all the best of luck for your future and have a lovely weekend.